Hey, it's Bria Valentine. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm here with another video. So we got Remy here in the beginning, but just to jump right into what you'll need, we have our portable washing bowl. I ordered it off Amazon. I'll put the link below. Apple cider vinegar. We also have baking soda. Um, I also have a lemon just to add some citrus to it. I looked up um, what I'll need on the internet, so that's all I did and just wrote it out on the list. But I also have some citrus essential oils. I did like four drops of this inside my detox mix um, before I, you know, put my hair in it just to help with the smell because vinegar stinks. Like I just, it bothers me. All right, now that we got everything we'll need, I just wanted to show the bath a little bit more just because this is the one I got off Amazon. It didn't come with any instructions on how to like set it up, but I just blew it up like with my breath. I don't know. I have a pump, but I wasn't gonna look it up. And then this is just a list of everything I use. I also put that list in the description box just in case I didn't give y'all enough time to read it. Um, Remy was really, really getting into this with me. I had to go put him up because I didn't want him drinking apple cider vinegar water or anything like that. So I already put Remy up. This is just me getting ready to set up. I'm adding some hot water um, to the bath. That's like the first step. So I just did like three bowls of hot water. Um, it felt like it just would not get full enough, but we made it work. So I went and grabbed my computer just because they said like, you're gonna be sitting here for 25 minutes and I needed something to watch. But here I'm just opening up the baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and add a three fourths of a cup of baking soda. I used a Tupperware dish that has like measuring marks on it. So I didn't have to, um, you know, try to guesstimate, but I did guess with the apple cider vinegar. You'll see that in a second. But first I'm just gonna add the baking soda. So three fourths cup of that and I'll pour that into the bath. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and grab the lemon. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that in there. I was going to do the apple cider vinegar first, but I didn't want to start the chemical reaction before we got there. So I'm just going to squeeze in a lemon. I used a whole lemon. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but yeah, I did. Here I am adding one cup of apple cider vinegar to my mixture. Um, I decided to go up to one cup just because I added so much water to the portable bowl and I didn't want it to be too diluted but yeah so now it's time for the moment of truth to go ahead and put my hair in the bath uh, I went a long time without a retwist so you just you know just bear with me but the water is so hot and then I realized that I was not doing a good job of putting it on my head myself so I was like calling my roommate like hey girl can you come help me um, pour this on my hair because it just wasn't going well just look at this it's just pathetic like I obviously didn't think this through I don't know how you can make this like a one person job but unfortunately it's just the beginning at least is it so I just put the cup down and waited on her to come help me so shout out to Kimar and Nicole for helping me out. I'll put her link for her channel down in the description because you should go watch her videos as well. But yeah, she really helped me out because there was no way I was going to be able to get my edges. So she just poured it over two times. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't just doing the ends. I was at least rinsing some of the detox mixture like through my roots because baby, those can be gross too. But anyways. So after she finished pouring it over, I just took the cup out of the bath. Um, but I did drop some vinegar in my mouth. It was so gross. <laughs> but anyways, so now I just started my timer. I'm just going to sit here on my computer and watch my show for 20 minutes. This is me telling Kimara thank you for helping me out with this step. And now I just got to kind of sit and wait and see if, um, or I see how gross my hair really is. So yeah, now we're just going to play the waiting game. I'm going to speed it up just so we aren't just sitting here watching me soak my hair. Alright, so this is me just soaking my hair. I did speed it up some so we didn't sit here for 20 minutes and watch my hair soak. But from time to time, I did take my hand and shift my locks around just so, you know, I was moving it around and the product, hopefully, or the dirt or grime would come out of my hair. Then from here, the next thing I did was show the water. So I went ahead and stopped the camera because we don't need 25 minutes of, of this right here. 
mix. I just want y'all to see the water. It is so gross. Like, it was clear when I started. This is how I ended. It. It's pretty brown, pretty cloudy. Like, you can't see the bottom of the tub anymore. And I would say my first detox was a success. I've been locking my hair. Let's see. It's been a year and eight months right now. So, yeah, this is my first detox after that. So, I'll probably make it yearly. But I just wanted to show you guys my locks afterwards. I had to wash them because they were dripping that nasty water all over my shirt. But yeah, this is just a quick snap of them before I hopped in the shower to wash my hair. And then after, this is my retwist. So I went ahead and retwisted my hair after I washed them. And this is before I went up under the dryer. I just wanted to get a quick snap. And also see what the back looked like because when I'm retwisting my hair, I cannot see that. I just... Feel my way through it. And then this is my style. I did a two ponytail style this time. No, I just kind of freestyle whenever I style my retwist. But this one I liked. But thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your